Hello, my name is Daniel Broadway, and today I'd like to give you a demonstration of a new product we've been developing called Screen Equalizer. This is a chroma key screen leveling plugin to assist with problematic green screen that is plagued with uneven lighting or a wrinkled backdrop. It is up to 32-bit compatible and cross-platform on a Windows or Mac. Screen Equalizer is also fully supported in Adobe After Effects CS5.5, CS6, and Creative Cloud. So now I'd like to give you a little demo of Screen Equalizer before and after. So this is our plate, and clearly there is some major wrinkling and seams on this green screen. And, you know, the chances of you getting a plate like this in a professional environment are slim, but I wouldn't completely outrule it. So and if you're shooting more um, less professional things, like maybe something for YouTube, you may, you may have to deal with something like this anyway. So we're going to show you how Screen Equalizer can help you out here. So we've got this plate of this girl, and she's moving around in front of these wrinkles, and... Um, already I can tell the main problem areas are going to be like where her hair intersects this seam. And keying that out is going to be difficult because we want to get rid of these seams, but we're going to have to use a lot of clipping black to get them completely gone. But unfortunately the byproduct of that will be clipping out all this nice detail and motion blur. So let's do a really quick key uh, without any assistance with key light. So let's drop it in. Let's go to a good frame here. And let's just go ahead and sample and pull a key. So as you see here, um, it looks pretty good at first glance, but if we go to the mat, um, now we're going to see a problem. We've got this seam and these wrinkles going right through that hair. And that is not an easy thing to uh, get rid of or to deal with at all. So the solution for this under normal circumstances would be you might have to do tons of roto to isolate the hair, pull a key on the hair, uh, do another roto around her back, um, do another roto around her arm, and you're going to have to key all these different areas separately just to deal with these wrinkles. And even then you might not get um, such a great key in those areas. Probably acceptable enough, but uh, it's going to take you, you know, if not an hour, more than, you know, a couple hours maybe. So let's take a look at this same shot. Um, with screen equalizer uh, assisting us. So let's get rid of key light. So one quick note I'd like to make before we use this plugin is in order for this to work, um, you're going to need it to be a locked off shot or a motion controlled shot because the plugin works by analyzing the clean plate and the foreground plate um, and doing a comparison to remove those wrinkles or uneven lighting. So your background is going to need to match up exactly the same uh, just without the actress for this to work. And let's go back to that frame we originally started at. So there we go. Now, again, the wrinkles are the problem. But what we can do is go back to the first frame of this footage, and she's completely out of the frame. And this is going to help us uh, with Screen Equalizer, because Screen Equalizer uses a clean plate to do a pixel comparison with the original foreground um, to find where the wrinkles are and to eliminate them. So let's take our foreground, duplicate it, Drag it underneath. We're going to rename this clean plate. Let's hide the foreground for a moment. Now we need to do a time remap on this and freeze this first frame. So now when we scrub through, that frame will always be underneath. We can now turn our foreground back on. Of course we have our original footage here. And let's drag screen equalizer on. So when you pop on Screen Equalizer, nothing's going to happen at first, um, but you're going to see four options. The first is Screen Color, which can be a red, green, or blue screen, green in our case. There's going to be a Clean Plate, which is obviously going to be referencing this plate that we created a moment ago. There is Sample Color, and the, what Sample Color does is it looks at the background Clean Plate, so this plate here. It finds the brightest pixel, so probably right in here, it's going to sample a color somewhere in there. And it uses that as the leveling color so that all your green screen will now be that color instead of having these wrinkles. Now the lock sample color, I need to explain that for a moment. Lock sample color, um, once this sample color has been selected, it will lock it. And the reason you need to do that is if instead we had not frozen this plate. So, of course, I just did a freeze frame of one frame. But let's say you rolled footage on, say, 5 to 10 seconds of clean plate and had the actress walk off frame. Well, that footage is going to have a lot of noise on it. 
And so that noise can possibly change the sample color because the noise could cause another pixel to become brighter than the original sample. So what's going to happen is every frame, one of the green pixels is going to become brighter than the other, and this color sample swatch will begin to flicker. So what you need to do is after you've selected your clean plate, most of the time you want to hit lock sample color. So let's again turn on visibility of our foreground. Go back to our frame. And now let's select the clean plate. So to go ahead and keep in good habit, let's go ahead and lock the sample color, even though this is not moving footage, but that's always a good habit to be in so you don't forget it. And if you look at the plate, you'll notice all of the uneven lighting and wrinkles are now gone. However, we have preserved all of the hair detail and all of the motion blur. So if I toggle this on and off, you'll notice that this seam gets eliminated, but none of the hair is lost in the process. And that is what makes Screen Equalizer a very powerful tool in your collection. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. Let's throw key light on and test our key. We're going to sample about where we did before. So about right here, sample. And let's go ahead and take a look at this mat. Now look at that. All of the wrinkles and uneven lighting are taken care of for you. And we have all of the hair detail still intact. All the motion blur down here on this hand still intact. And if you remember earlier, we had to clip this to about 17. So let's go ahead and do that and compare. So as you can see, we've lost. Let's take a screenshot. And with Screen Equalizer, you don't have to clip anything because all of the background is taken care of and gone. So if we compare, that's how much more hair detail we get to keep, which in my opinion is a lot better. And a lot nicer. Let's get another hand. Let's go to the hair on top we noticed earlier. So yeah, we're keeping a lot more details. Now, I wouldn't recommend actually keying in the equalizer comp. So let's get rid of key light. Let's pre-comp this and go to another comp for the actual keying. It's best if equalizer is its own pre-comp because that way you avoid any issues of equalizer um, looking at the comparison pixels of the background plate. You just want everything to be contained in its own comp there. So let's go to the main comp and let's go ahead and key again. Just drop it on and look how easy this is. You just pick your color and that's already a pretty darn good key. Um, there's a little bit of green fringing in the hair still so if you want to use our other product, Spill Slayer, you can drop that on. At first there will be no change but just turn the bias up to say no, 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 60% and it'll get rid of that green fringing. So there you go. Uh, very nice key done in just a couple of minutes. And this is a lot better than having to spend many hours rotoing and pulling separate keys if, uh, if you didn't have equalizer. So I highly recommend this for situations with uneven lighting or wrinkles in your screen. Okay, so let's look at a second example of why equalizer can be helpful in a workflow. So if we take a look at this shot, this is a full body um, walking shot of an actress on a green screen psych. And the difficult thing about green screen psychs is sometimes they're very difficult to light evenly because they're such a large area that you have to cover with light from those studio lights. So a lot of times, especially in corners, as you'll see here, um, they kind of collect a little bit of darkness compared to the uh, brightly lit areas on the outer rims of the psych. So this can be problematic when keying because um, if you get a nice key here, you may have some leftover garbage in your mat here. And again, in a shot like this, um, although we can't see her hair very detailed up close, we do have some motion blur in her legs, and we want to keep that nice motion blur instead of having to crunch it out. So let's go ahead again, as before, key this really quick with key light without any assistance. And I'm just going to sample back here. Let's take a look at the mat. So obviously, right away, our mat. Um, is in pretty bad shape. Uh, we're getting pretty good uh, white fill extraction here, but the gray in the backing region is still very heavy. And if we want to get rid of that, um, again, we're going to have to crunch this pretty far down. And even just to get rid of this around her legs, I've had to crunch all the way to 33, which is almost double of what we did before. Um, and we've still got this area here, which she does walk into. Um, so if we wanted to get rid of that, we'd have to crunch it even further down. 
And at the same time, we're also losing her shadow. And, you know, in this case, you may or may not want to keep the shadow, but um, if you had a proxy green screen object there for a CG prop that might be added, you might want that shadow for a contact shadow on the CG prop. So clearly the situation um, could do well with some equalization. So let's get rid of key light and let's go ahead and duplicate this footage. And we're going to rename this to background, drop it underneath the foreground. Let's uh, click the visibility of foreground off for a moment. Now, if we scrub through, we're going to notice at the beginning, she's out of frame. So, and you'll see a shadow here. So we need to make sure we back up just enough to get rid of that shadow. And let's go to layer, time, freeze frame. Now, again, when we scrub, that frame is locked. And we're going to use this frame as a reference for cleaning up and equalizing our screen. So let's turn foreground back on. Drop on equalizer. Excuse me. There we go. Let's go to a frame where we have our actress and shot. And let's go ahead and pick our clean plate, which is background. Now the sample color has been picked. Let's make sure we lock it. And now we can see we have a much, much nicer, much even screen. And notice the subtle detail of the contact shadows are kept. So these shadows on the wall, if you wanted them, uh, are perfectly preserved. Um, now let's just do a little before and after here. So let's turn equalizer off. And as you can see, that is a much, much better shot to start from as a basis for keying. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and key this with key light. Now, like I said earlier, a good practice is to go ahead and pre-comp your equalization. And let's just go in here and rename that equalized. And then we'll rename this main, whoops, main comp. Okay, so here's our equalized footage. It's all good. Let's go to a good frame here. Let's see. Okay, let's go key light. And we're gonna select that. And let's pick a color. And let's take a look at the map. So already you can see this is a much, much better situation for keying. The uneven lighting has now been eliminated. And what you have now is a very nice foreground extraction with her shadows and nothing else. No uneven lighting, no dirty floor. Everything is really clean and nice. And so this is uh, just one good example of why I think uh, Equalizer is a great tool for your tool set.